Let's go ahead and do our first calculations using molarity as our set of concentration units. And the question goes, find the molarity of a solution that has 25.5 grams of KBr, which is potassium bromide, dissolved in 1.75 liters of solution. Now, again, there's uh, like so many things in this course, there's many ways to do this calculation, but my way to do it is to sort of set up a fill in the blank. And the fill in the blank goes like this. My molarity of potassium bromide equals moles of potassium bromide over liters of solution. And then fill in two of these blanks and then calculate the third. I can see that I've got grams of potassium bromide, which I know how to turn into moles. And I've got liters of solution. So my liters of solution can just go straight in there. And then for my turning my grams into moles, something we've done many times before. We have our 25.5 grams of potassium bromide and bromine is 79.9 and potassium is 39.1. So let's do 39.10, but we can just do 39.1 plus 79.9. That gives me 119.0, because I'm going to always do my molar masses to at least four sig figs. So it has one more sig fig than this. So grams KBr, one mole KBr. And I make sure that my, again, so we've been doing this for a while, but always good to check in. So my grams of potassium bromide cancel, leaving me with units of moles. And then I'll do the math. 25.5 divided by 119. I get 0 0.214, which I can then plug straight in the top here. And my moles divided by my liters is how I'm going to find my molarity. So I'll just go back to 0 0.214, divide it by the 1.75, and I get 0 0.122 to 3 sig figs. And that's molarity, or molar, potassium bromide, and that is my answer for this problem. So this example down here is very similar. Please do that. I'll be looking for the answer in your notes. Ah, yes, we do have more questions to do about this. <laughs> uh, so this one's going to be a little different. It's going to say how many liters of 0 0.125 molar sodium hydroxide contain 4.56 grams of sodium hydroxide. It's the same setup, but we've been given different information. So molarity, and this time it's molarity of sodium hydroxide equals moles of sodium hydroxide over blank liters of solution. And this time we're going to have, we have our molarity, so we can plug it right in. And you don't have to use the blanks, but you can if you want to. You can be part of your process. We know we have grams and we're going to convert grams into moles again. But this time, uh, we're going to be solving for our liters. Let's turn our grams into moles first. And molar mass of this is going to be sodium is 22.99 plus 16 for oxygen plus 1.008 for hydrogen. 39.998, which we can round to four sig figs to 40.00. And I'll do the calculation and I'll plug the number right in here. This is going to be 4.56 divided by 40, 0 0.114. And that one works out exactly, so that's nice. And I don't know about you, but when I'm solving for something in the denominator, I like to put an x there, and I'm going to be cross-multiplying. 
So it's going to be uh, these two equals those two. That's cross multiplying. So 0 0.125x equals 0 0.114 times 1, which is just 0 0.114. And then 0 0.125 divide. And I should get that my x is 0.114 divided by 0.125. 0.912, and that's going to be units of liters of solution. And let's see. So, if now let's think if the answer makes sense. So, if I'm going to get a number here that's a little bit bigger than this number here, then this number x has to be a little bit smaller than 1 which this is a little bit smaller than one. So the math makes sense as well. Um, this one is another problem I'd like you to do and work out your answer. And I will be looking for that answer when I grade your work.